I was very pleased. I thought the lads were superb. You know, the energy levels and the, the football we played was very good. Um, you know, give Cheltenham credit. It's a you know, tough place to go to beat Greensby then. You've got to give them credit. So, um, yeah, a little bit of pressure, but it's nice. It's, it's a lovely pressure to be. Um, and to get the result and be back uh, top of the league is a fantastic achievement for the club and, and especially for the players. So I thought they were very good. Um, yeah, you mentioned your good performance, but it was another slow start, um, and that has caught your team out in recent weeks. Have you been working on that at all? Or? Um, just hopefully score more goals afterwards. <laughs> That's all I can say. I can't put my finger on it. I really don't know. We've had, a, we had a, some slow starts, like you're, you're 100% right. Um, I just can't put a finger on it. But um, you know, we, I like the way we, we responded. We responded really well collectively as a team, um, and, and I thought the crowd were fantastic. I thought our supporters really got behind the ball, especially when we went one 0 down. It was noisy. It was a great atmosphere. Um, so massive credit for them. And it was, you know, two quick goals that really changed the game. How, you know, how, how crucial was that period of the game? Yeah, really crucial. And um, you know, if we, I think we just need that extra goal to kill a game off. I think we got a third goal that would have been um, different. But fair play to Chester. They, uh, they kept going. You know, it was, um, um, you know, back against the wall the last five minutes, which is going to happen when it's only two-one, or, or if it's one-nil, then if only one goal difference, and it's going to be back against the wall. But we um, rolled the sleeves up and, and are very pleased. Was yeah, it? just a team bonding session really, and um, and, it, and it was great. It was great. You know. Um, Bit worried because the centre forwards didn't shoot very uh, m many clay pigeons, <laughs> and, and the defenders did. So, um, but no, it was um, it was very good. It was good fun. Very good fun, and uh, just to break the week up as well. You know, we trained in the morning, Thursday morning, and then the afternoon we went and done clay pigeon shooting. So it was really good. It was, it was good fun. We started off poorly, I thought, to be fair, and then we we slowly got into the game throughout the half and finished on top. Obviously, got the the two goals, and then yeah, like you said, second half. To be fair, we did we did grind it out, but sometimes you've got to do that to stay top of the league and. It's a good sign that we can grind it out and obviously we can play well at times. Yeah, you mentioned there it was a slow start. What actually happened with the first goal? Because it looked like there was a bit of a miscommunication or something. Yeah, I'm sort not of... sure it went over my head and then I don't know if it was an own goal or someone actually had it in. I, I couldn't really see, to be fair. Yeah, back. obviously it helped straight away because obviously, like I said, we started poorly and then we got our pressing game going. And to be fair, they couldn't live with it when we pressed them. Obviously, the second goal come from us pressing them and a, and a poor back pass and we got in so no, it's obviously important to get those two quick goals and like you've said already second half we come out and we have to grind it out mm. um, You've got Wimbledon away in the cup then Dover at home how do you go into those games they're a bit tough those on paper Yeah obviously Wimbledon are, are a league above but that's the league we want to be in so if we want to get in that league we've got to show we can compete with those teams so that game we'll be going in to win and obviously Dover have had a great season so far but go into that to win every game is the same really, get three points from Dover and if we can win the FA Cup game and get through that then happy days. Um, and finally, um, you went clay shooting during the week, who was the best at that then? The best was JJ, James Jennings yeah. and the worst was myself, it's not my uh, forte to say the least. Yeah, um, I did hear from AD that the uh, forward minded players weren't very good at it, uh, yeah. which was a concern. <laughs> yeah, obviously yeah, but no, it, it wasn't for me to be fair, I was, I was very poor at that.